So what's up everyone, my name is Ben and today I'll be comparing the S7 versus the S7 Edge here, uh, both by Samsung and we'll be doing the uh, true test, true benchmark test here and we will be doing, just let me just see here, first off we will be doing the 3D mark, then we'll be doing the Antutu benchmark and then we will be doing the uh, what's it called the Geekbench Re benchmark okay so then uh, right now let's just start off with the 3d mark test here uh, this is just one of the basic ones that, that focuses more on the GPU rather um, and here is it is on the S7 I know what is S7 Edge I know what's up with the S7 uh, but let me just install the slingshot test here install Okay, so here it is, the test has now installed and let me just run it here, just click run on both devices and let's just wait and pretty much get the results. Okay, so here are the scores. The S7 Edge did finish first, but the scores are really interesting actually. So let me just put both phones like this here so you guys can see them better. Uh, and yeah, here is here are the scores. So the S7 Edge here got a score of 2150, while the S7 got a score of 1200, um, 2100, sorry, sorry. Uh, 2157 so really interesting it, this phone got a score of 7 better probably because this has a bigger display and all that but yeah really interesting as I said and let's move to the next test here okay so let's just go and open up the uh, what's it called the Antutu whoa sorry and just close this out okay so now we can actually start the test here so let's just click simultaneously here three two one boom and I'll just speed this part up uh, and I will come back when this is done okay so the S7 is just about to finish and here it is it just finished Samsung Galaxy S7 uh, 131,082 whoa while the S7 Edge just finished 116,954. This is really interesting. And let me just check it here. Whoa, big difference. Uh, the S7 is much better than the um, S7 Edge here. I don't know why, but well, let me just close out all this. And let's just jump to the last test here to see which one really wins. Uh, this is the Geekbench 3 test, which I got here. Boom, accept. And let's just do this at the same time. As you can see, the specs here are the same. I, so I don't really know what's causing such a big difference. Probably just the, I don't know, maybe the, um, the screen here. But yeah, let's just start in three, two, one. So I won't really uh, speed this up because the Gigman 3 test is, is usually really quick. Uh, and yeah, of course, the same story here. S7 is just racing through this while the S7 Edge is staying behind um, just a tiny bit here, a few percent, so like like eight or nine percent here. Um, but yeah, um, really interesting. I hope you guys can find a reason why, why the S7 is much faster and hopefully um, leave a comment down below why is that so uh, and yeah whoa almost 20% behind and here it is the S7 has just finished and the score is whoa that's a big difference the score is 2048 on the single core score and the multi core score is 6574 here on the S7 but on the S7 Edge here, we got a score of 1755 and a multi-core score of 5780. So again, a big difference. The S7 got a much higher score, which I don't really know why, but 
I, I'm hoping you guys can explain that in the comment if you guys know uh, because I'm generally really interested in that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely drop this video a like and I see you all in my next video.